Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich. Uh, we have two things in the Gold Saucer to deal with. The first is the submarine game, which we're just going to give a little overview of. It's exactly like the undersea, uh, or the underwater reactor submarine battle, except it's a game at the Gold Saucer. So, um, every time you beat it, you there are, there are five levels. There's the undersea reactor level, and then levels 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're just going to show one of them. And then I'm going to show you some endings uh, with prizes and stuff. For defeating the undersea reactor recreation, you get ink and 20 GP. All the prizes you get plus 20 GP. For doing level 1, you get a TS bomb. For level 2, you get a dragon fang. For level 3, you get a dragon scale. And for level 4, you get a uh, cauldron, which is uh, it's a battle item that uh, it's a battle item that does status effects on people and uh, enemies. Uh, it's essentially useless for our in our purposes at this point in the game. But uh, I did play them all, just check them out. And again, all of them, you get 20 GP, and the first time you beat them, you get an item. So if you're going for, like, absolute collection or something, you know, something got to do. But essentially, there just is a 10-minute time limit, killing enemy subs, and trying to avoid mines. I didn't have any trouble uh, avoiding mines and not dying. I had some trouble in some levels finding enemy subs. Because you could drive right over them and they won't appear if you're not at a level that allows them to appear and stuff. Uh, but, I mean, if you pay attention to the alerts and the geometry of the game, it's not much of a problem. Now, we also are going to briefly do uh, the snowboarding game in the Gold Saucer. I'm going to show you uh, my first run at it and uh, my final run before I gave up. And I think what I'm going to do is because there are multiple courses available for this game... And stuff. I may take some shots at it, and uh, if I do any good, post them as a bonus video. But essentially, we're just going to do an overview. Because you have to do good on the first course to unlock the second course, and then you have to do good on the second course to unlock the third, I believe. And then you can unlock a time attack mode, and you have to do good at that to unlock other things. And it becomes, you know, a, a deal. A big deal. Um, but essentially, the course we're going to show, the first course in that is identical to the snowboarding race we did to get down to the Great Glacier. So, uh, after this, we will essentially uh, be left with unanswered questions on, we haven't gotten the flare from the speed square, and I was unable to. I was able to consistently score in the mid-4,000s, but could not like repeat my luck with getting a 5,000 score. Now, uh, and then the snowboarding course, we haven't done that. Um, other than that, I think we've done uh, almost every unlockable kind of extra dealy thing uh, well as they became available. And we certainly never got to the invisible guy in 3D Battler either. But the odds of doing that, I mean, because it's completely a math game. And the odds of doing that are ch ch like in the thousands. I mean, it's like it's like one in a thousand. Um, I just don't feel like recording me doing 3D Battler a thousand times and still not getting it. Um, I may give 3D Battler uh, another shot uh, just in case some sort of miracle happens, but I wouldn't count on seeing the invisible opponent in 3D Battler. Uh, let's see, what else? I, I think after that, we're essentially uh, in good shape. It's, uh, you know, we have Ruby Weapon in the end of the game. And neither of those are bad things. I mean, you know, I, I guess the worst part about this is there was so much extemporaneous post-commentary stuff to do before the end of the plot line. But after this, uh, I believe we will be back in live commentary. And uh, although we were on live commentary for the last video, so whether or not you knew it. And we will be... Oh, I don't know. What will we be? Awesome. We'll be awesome. Um, I don't know. So, now you're going to see a bunch of clips of endings of this, and then two snowboard runs. And again, which are identical to the snowboard, uh, the snowboard game that, uh, takes us down to the Great Glacier. Um, although now, uh, like, the fact that there are balloons, like, what, were there balloons when we went down to the Great Glacier? Probably not. But now there are balloons. So, Yay. So there are controls, and uh, it's pretty easy stuff. You know, you just 
find your target, get behind them, wait for it to turn red, and then just fire all your torpedoes. Now, some of the levels will have harder targets in them, like harder, where it takes multiple shots of torpedoes to kill stuff, but... I just essentially showed the end. The scores have nothing to do with anything. Like, your score is determined by how long it took and how much damage you took. But, uh, it doesn't keep a scoreboard. You don't get different prizes for having high scores. It's, uh, a pretty two-dimensional minigame. So that was our completion of level two, because we got a Dragon Fang. And, uh, the underwater, or the underwater reactor one, uh, is different from the, the Undersea Mako reactor battle. It's different in that you don't have to just kill the red sub. You have to kill the red sub and all of the other subs. Which, there's like six of them. There's seven targets total in that mission. I actually showed the end hoping that I had recorded the acquisition of every item, and I had not. My, uh... Like, I played it once and then realized I should be recording, and... So that was our completion of level 3. And this will be our completion of level 4. So I guess we showed everything but getting the ink for... Oh, maybe this is the completion of... I don't know. Well, we got the misspelled cauldron. Okay, so snow game, which is the snowboarding game. Now, there will be balloons on the uh, on the course. You receive points by getting balloons. Uh, your score at the end of the course will be uh, broken down into three things. Technique, time, and balloons. Balloons has a possible uh, a, a max of 40. Technique, which is how many things do you hit, has a max of 30. You lose points for hitting things. And uh, the... And time has a max of 30. Depending on, uh, you have to beat the course time by two seconds or, l or you have to, um, you can, you have to get through in the course time. It has a two second variance. So the course time, I think for this course is 130. Uh, to get a perfect score, you have to be under 131.99 or whatever. Because two seconds over, you lose a point. I think it's for every two seconds over. So up to 133.99 will get you a one point deduction. We'll see how that plays out in this first deal. Now we saw where it said keep out and that will go away once we've scored good on this course. Because this is the beginner course, this is course A. And then I assume uh, there's a different break off for advanced courses. So there, well, we hit a snow moogle or whatever they are, or a snow koopo, or I don't, I don't know. I don't, the the, the bestiary of Final Fantasy confuses me. It's too many things. It's too much stuff. All right, so we'll follow my theory through here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. This whole igloo thing is not fun. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, jerk. Yeah, I know. I only made it through the trees without getting hit once. So we should be at a four-point deduction now. Now five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Ugh, jeez. Yeah, look at that. 16. Yeah, absolutely. It's every two seconds over the 130. So, uh, this was my last run before giving up. Uh, I think we actually get 30 on, on time here. We get the good. You can see I've opened the, the second path at this point. And essentially, you can do it uh, pretty easily. By maxing out uh, technique and time. Like, that alone will give you 60 points. If you just get a few balloons, 
Um, I because I believe you get the good ranking above seventy. Now there is a cool ranking you can get that is uh, a perfect score. You can only get it with a perfect score. Which, jeez, no, thank you. So this is essentially like now we've kind of done everything, and of course uh, these things are only open later in the gold saucer. We certainly, you know, you have to do, and that was a great grab on that balloon. But it cost us some technique points. You know, ideally you can't, you can't do any of that. I do love that the Chocobo song is playing, and you can see my best time is uh, 136 at this point. I, th I was really just trying to get through it for time. I had had one previous good at this point. I still didn't make it past the stupid trees. But I mean, 136 only loses you two point or uh, two time uh, points. So there we go. That's under the time. We should get 30. And there it is. All right. Uh, when we come back, um, Ruby Weapon, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.